Welcome back. In today's video, we're not only excited to introduce a new product to the Taunton Legend lineup, but also a new brand. And that brand is Ultra. And in today's video, we're gonna be focusing on the Olympus 5 Hike Low GTX. The Olympus 5 Hike was born out of the feedback and reviews given on the Olympus running range. What Ultra have done is taken all the attributes that people knew and loved from that range of shoes and made it into a hiking specific shoe, offering a more durable upper material and also a Gore-Tex membrane as well. Okay, so just like our other footwear videos, we're gonna start at the top, we're gonna to make our way down through the shoe, talking about the features as we go. So to start with, we'll talk about the most obvious and that is the outer materials. So we're seeing a combination of nubuck and mesh on this piece of footwear. The nubuck makes up the majority of the shoe and it's a really good, durable, long lasting material that's gonna give you a good level of protection from both scuffs and scrapes and also water as well. The mesh is located in the tongue portion of the shoe. It's a slightly softer uh, element, so it's gonna fold a little bit nicer. It's not gonna cause any lumps and bumps that might, you might find irritating, but it also aids in breathability as well. Behind all this is a Gore-Tex sock, which means your feet are gonna be nice and dry in the mass of the situation. And then as we move down to the toe end of the shoe, we're met by a rubber toe cap. This is just giving yourself a little bit of extra protection, but also giving the shoe a bit of protection to make sure that it doesn't get too scuffed and scraped if you happen to kick a few boulders or a few steps as you're climbing. Moving back up, we're met with a really nice lacing system. It doesn't come down as low as an approach shoe, but it still comes low enough to give you the ability to change the fit and shape of the shoe if you so need to. And then at the back here, we've got a premium cuff, which is nice and comfortable. It's got a good amount of padding on it, but also aids in giving you a really nice secure fit. Right at the back here, we've got a little loop just to help us get our shoe on nice and easily. Okay, and now we're gonna move down the shoe to the midsole. This is a compressed EVA midsole, and it's got a really good level of cushioning. It's got a 33 mil stack, uh, a stack is the difference between where your foot sits in the shoe and the ground. So you've got a lot of cushioning here. And in fact, this is using Ultra's max amount of cushioning. So it's gonna be really comfortable and you're also not gonna feel all the rocks and bumps through the base of the shoe. Thanks to their running shoes, Ultra are also well known for having a zero drop within their footwear. This means that your heel and your toe are at the same level, giving you a more natural barefoot feel. We're also seeing Ultra's interflex system in here. So you'll see on the midsole here, you've got loads of lines and almost like a grid pattern. What that does is allows the shoe to flex and bend so that this shoe, even with all that cushioning, doesn't become too stiff and uncomfortable. And now before we move on to the base of the shoe, let's just have a little chat about the last itself. This is based on Ultra's original last. So it's a nice broad fitting last. It's broad from heel all the way to toe and it's got a good amount of room around the toe box. And this just allows your foot to naturally assume the shape it wants to without being restricted. This would really suit someone with a wider foot. And if you've looked at Minor Comfort Fit or Keen products in the past, then this would be a really good option when you look to upgrade. Now let's move on to the sole unit itself. We've got a Vibram Mega Grip compound on the bottom of here, and that's mostly highlighted in white, as you can see running around the shoe. We've also got this here at the back in the gray and on the forefoot as well. This compound is extremely sticky, so it's gonna give you a really good level of traction, no matter the terrain you're walking on, whether that's uh, mud, rock, whether that's wet or dry. And then in the middle here, we've got a blown out rubber, which just helps reduce the weight of the product overall. So who is the Olympus Hike 5 designed for? Well, based on the last, it's designed for someone with a broader foot or someone who wants to try a more relaxed fitting shoe. If, like I mentioned previously in the video, you've had a mind or comfort fit or potentially a keen product in the past, this would be a really good option to consider when it comes time to upgrade or change your footwear. In terms of what terrain this can handle, you're gonna be absolutely fine on all any lowland usage. So whether that's footpaths or maybe some low moorland, but it's all gonna be perfect for coastal path walking and potentially a couple of multi-day trips on easy terrain. So if you've got any questions about anything we've spoken about in this video today, feel free to leave it down in the comment section below. And just like always, we'd really appreciate it if you like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.